Okay, my name is Steve Mace from Soulwise, and what I'd like to do now is do a presentation video uh, with an unboxing show and tell of the Ingenious ENS 500 Outdoor Access Point uh, CP bridging device. So this is an outdoor piece of equipment using the 5 gig band 11N300 meg, uh, usually used as a point to point or point to multi point bridging unit, can be used as an access point, but usually as a bridging unit. So let's see what we've got in the box. Okay. What we've got uh, in, a, in a box. So that's what we get in our box. So let's go through each item in turn. So, first thing we've got the unit itself. Um, nice white plastic house unit, about a little bit smaller than A5 piece of paper, so I'll cover that in a minute. What else we've got in the box? Right, we've got a, uh, a PoE injector. So the device uses a uh, proprietary 24 volt PoE. Um, so it has to be 24 volt PoE. Don't shove a 40 volt, 48 volt PoE up it or you'll blow it up. So you must use this proper special 24 volt PoE that it comes with. Uh, this has a, a LAN in and a LAN plus PoE power out, which goes to the unit. And on the back of it, there's a figure of eight socket for a mains lead. So let's get rid of that. Uh, else in the box, we've got... We've got a... Uh, mains lead with a figure of eight connector on the end for the PoE injector. We've got um, some cable ties. Um, usually the device is pole mounted and they do actually supply these cable ties to actually hold it securely on the pole. Um, they're rubbish. Don't use cable ties. Um, they won't hold it securely in the pole and within 12 months the sun will have uh, cracked and weakened the plastic of the cable tie and the thing will be hanging off. So don't use cable ties. If you're going to pole mount it, use some proper uh, Jubilee clips, proper nice stainless steel ones you can get from a website or wherever. Also in the box, we've got some rather joke raw plugs. Um, I'm amazed at these raw plugs that these manufacturers chuck into these boxes. Um, you wouldn't use these to hang anything off the wall, uh, let alone uh, a piece of equipment like that on an outside wall. Uh, get yourself down to B&Q, home base, whatever, yet again. Get yourself some decent wall plugs if you want to wall mount it. If you are going to wall mount it, also in the box, we've got a template for uh, where screw hole fixings go. And we've got a um, quick setup guide. So the unit itself... Okay, uh, as I say, it's a uh, rather nice presented uh, white plastic housing, a little bit smaller than A5 piece of paper, probably what inch and a quarter thick, something like that. Um, on the back of it, we've got a um, pole mounting groove sectioned, so that's so it can be mounted on a pole. Pole mounting is normal for it, in my opinion, because it gives you the best flexibility of where to direct it, that sort of thing. Um, now, there are two versions of the ENS 500. There's this version, which is this the plain ENS 500, which has uh, two um, dual polarized uh, MIMO antennas actually built into this housing, giving it a semi directional uh, operation. There are another version of this, which is called the EXT version, which instead of the built in antennas, actually has two reverse SMA connectors on the top that you fit omni aerials to to give you an omni coverage. So in a bridge scenario, you might have the one which has the two aerials stuck in the middle, giving you omni coverage, and then scattered around, you'd have various ENS 500s um, with the directional aerials aimed in to the EXT version, giving you a point to multi point um, scenario. So uh, also on the back, as well as that um, groove for the pole, uh, that also has a couple of um, keyholes for screw fixing directly onto the wall. Uh, fine, as long as the wall's facing in the right direction, of course. On the bottom of it, we've got a plastic protective flap, uh, which actually has two uh, cable entry exit holes on it. So I'll just get that off. So under that weatherproof flap, we've got um, bent paperclip reset hole, 
we've got a Lamport PoE in. So that's the one that maybe connects down to the PoE injector. So that takes the power and the LAN connection up to it. And we also have a Cascade uh, LAN port for cascading out to secondary equipment on the pole. But note there is no PoE on that port. It is only a uh, data port. So that's the ENS 500. Uh, to recap, it's an outdoor um, 11 and 300 meg 5 gig unit. Um, weatherproof, uh, designed primarily for um, uh, bridging, uh, bridging operation, but could be used as an access point, but more normally as a point-to-multipoint or point-to-point bridging unit. And that's it. Thank you very much.